This is a quick video on rendering with Adobe After Effects and Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder has a lot of bugs when trying to render out After Effects projects, specifically After Effects version CC 2015.3. Sometimes people can't even get Media Encoder to begin rendering those projects at all. Other times there's visual glitches, but the most common issue is repeating audio in the last three seconds of a clip. I'm going to cover a way to render the project and hopefully avoid all of these issues. In summary, we're going to be rendering our project from within After Effects. We'll create an uncompressed video, and that uncompressed file will then be placed into Media Encoder, where the actual final video is rendered out. So I'm working with a scene here, a um, template scene set up from the After Effects class I teach. I've added some audio to the scene and I'm ready to render. So I've got my final comp active. This is the final one I'm usually going to be exporting out to Media Encoder. So with that active, I'm going to go to the Composition menu. I'm not going to click the Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Instead, I want to add it to the Render queue. If I click that, it should immediately open up a new tab called Render Queue. If you use After Effects CS6 or earlier, you'll be familiar with this queue. Um, this is the way After Effects typically renders out files without Media Encoder. So there are three options that I need to set before I'm ready to go. So first I'm going to set my render settings by clicking on the blue Best Settings option. If yours doesn't default to this Best Settings and Lossless, you can um, select it from the menu there. But I want to go with Best Settings, and I'm only going to change one thing. I click on the blue link, the render settings dialog will pop up and the bottom left one here we've got time span I want to say length of comp render everything in my entire comp okay so now it's a custom version of best settings output module will default to lossless which is what we want in summary if lossless does not appear what you want to be setting so if yours didn't say lossless you pretty much want it to be saying at the top here AVI checking the video output, making sure the settings are the same, RGB, millions of colors, none, and audio output on. That's basically what the lossless is going to be, but just in case, if you want to double check, the settings should match what they are on the screen. This is going to create an uncompressed file, which will be massive. So the final thing I want to do is choose where I'm going to save this to. So I've got this I'm going to click on here on the blue link, and I need to choose a save location. So just like I was just uh, mentioning, we're about to render an uncompressed video, which will be massive. Depending on your content and the um, like complexity of what's in your scene, most importantly how long your video is, it could be 10 gigabytes, it could be 30 gigabytes. And because of that, you want to render onto a location that has enough free space. I'm on a machine with four drives, and none of these have much free space left. So I've got an external drive with about 400 gig available. And so I want to be rendering to that. So I'm going to choose the external drive and hit save. With all that set up, I'm going to now hit the render button here. After Effects is now rendering the video from within After Effects itself. You can see it's skipping through the frames one at a time. I can hit the caps lock key on my keyboard. As soon as I hit caps lock, After Effects no longer updates this window and so the render speed increases dramatically. I'm going to pause the video and we'll resume when this render is completed. Once it has rendered out, um, you can navigate to the location that you saved the video. So you can see here that this video has been about 3 gig in size. This is not a video that you will send to people. Uh, this is a video, it's also not a video that some machines could even actually play back if the hardware is not there. But it is a video that is uncompressed and full quality. So this is a video that we will use in order to create a compressed file. So I'm going to open up Media Encoder 2015.
and once media encoder is open we just drag and drop this video into the media encoder UI and once it's dropped into the queue the default settings are going to be just fine for most purposes you can of course change them if you want it's going to output back to wherever this was so I'm going to hit render so it does have to render again but this time it's going to be far quicker to render because if you've been working previously where you render After Effects projects in Media Encoder it can take ages but in this case we're rendering a uncompressed video so it's very quick for Media Encoder to just create a compressed version of that file as a result too all these glitches between After Effects and Media Encoder are completely ignored and, and nullified because we're not using After Effects to do the rendering it's just rendering an uncompressed video so once that's complete the actual file is ready to go and it's only 30 meg so this is compressed and without any re repeating audio glitches or anything at the end so should be totally fine